What is this sandwich? Pastrami. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. It doesn't look anything like the picture on the menu. You always say that. I mean, first off, we're in a restaurant that puts photos of food on the menu. Think about that for a minute. Plus, that shot's been airbrushed. It's more like a centerfold than a pastrami sandwich. No, I'm not hungry anyway. What? That thing. <laughs> I don't know whether you're gonna do a card trick or sing Kumbaya. It's just an experiment. It's amazing. Your article on Councilman French says he's practically a saint. The article in the Gazette says he's going to be charged with embezzlement any day now. I mean, they even got photos of the phony checks. How can we do I don't know, all right? I don't know. He was a nice guy. I voted for him. I wanted to believe in him. Party! How you doing? Feldman? You in disguise? I, I don't blame you. I read the article. Listen, I got a guy you should meet. Says he ran into Elvis at a donut shop up in Aurora. <laughs> sure. All right, come on. I gotta get back to the paper while well, I still have a job. Nice guy, and you trust people. That's good. No, maybe not for an investigative reporter, but. You know, it's easy for you to criticize. There's never any consequence to the things you do. I'm the one with a job. I'm the one paying all the bills. Oh, oh, so my life is just one giant picnic conference. Where's the car? It's over there. Do you never stop eating? I'm bulking up. Check his pulse. Uh, parking garage, eighth and Whitmore, third level. Make sure he doesn't swallow his tongue. You want me to give him the Heimlich maneuver? Uh, the man's unconscious. He hit his head. Okay, we'll wait here. Check his wallet. See who he is. No wallet. Nothing. Not even any car keys. What's a guy doing in a parking garage without any car keys? He just walked right in front of me. Any witnesses? One. My brother saw somebody. Hope he's okay. saw somebody. Me? No, I didn't see anybody. <laughs> he said you saw somebody. I didn't see anybody. That's it. Let's see what this opens. What is it? It's taped to his leg. Where are we going? It's a car key for a parking garage. Joe, how many of these cars are you going to check? I got to get to work. If you don't stop whining, I'm going to punch you, Frank. Joe! <laughs> What did this woman look like you didn't see? 
Average, really amazing, exotic. Good cheekbones. He's strong, mysterious, and yeah, maybe a little reckless. Then I only saw her for a second. Uh-huh. See if it's real. Good idea. They could be chocolate. Here, a press release came into the newsroom the other day. The Luxor Gold. Stolen from the tomb of Imhotep in the late 19th century AD. From the Valley of Kings in Egypt to a parking garage in Bayport. Yeah, I think there's a metaphor in there somewhere. How about all that glitters is not gold? Amon Frere. That's not a metaphor. That's an adage. Metaphor. Adage. Metaphor. These coins are fake. How do you know that? You didn't even know about the crooked counselor. Because the coins go on display tomorrow at the Bayport Museum before being returned permanently to the National Museum in Cairo. That's it. It's ridiculous. What is? What you're thinking. And what am I thinking? That somehow we've stumbled into the middle of a plot to steal the Luxor gold. It's ridiculous. No, I mean, think about it. Think about it. If you were planning on stealing the coins, Bayport would be your last chance to do it, right? I mean, you're not going to go to the National Museum in Cairo. No. So how would you do it? A switcheroo. Place the real ones with fakes. You're gone before anybody realizes. Let's find out who owns that car. Yeah, I sold it yesterday. Paid me cash, came in a cab, and drove it away. Could you give me the wheel down there? You get his uh, name and address? Address, no. Nope. Uh, but he did say his name was John Smith. You believed him? Well, my name is Ted Jones. Frank Hardy. Hi, Kate. Yes, I, I know. No, I, I'm on my way. No. I'm on my way. Well, I'm glad we had this little talk. Me too. Just a minute. Do you realize what a jerk this article makes me look like? You. I'm the one whose name is on it. How do you think I feel? You can grow a beard. It's a goatee. You know, I made a mistake, but you approved the story. You insisted on the scene of the city angle. You said one source was enough. I assumed one of my reporters might have at least an entry-level knowledge of reportage techniques. I gotta go. Don't leave the building. What, am I under house arrest? The computer's gone down a couple of times today. If it happens during the run, we may have to re-enter whole pages of copy. Huh. Competition. Trust the Gazette. Another man in a coma story. Well, I guess it sells papers. <laughs> Hey, Cragen. Yeah, yeah, he's right here. It's for you, the police. Use your own phone. What is wrong with you two? You're not teenagers anymore. I should throw you in jail for obstructing an investigation. If it wasn't for my relationship with your father. That's not what I meant. Your father and I shared a hey, squad car together. It's like I that we talked to. Frank, it's, it's her. I'm going to say this one time and one time only. Joe.
find any sugar. I guess you couldn't find the coins either. Well, you've got them, right? Okay, that's it. I'm calling the cops. You do have them. Who are you? Show me the coins, and I'll tell you everything. You're not carrying a gun or anything, are you? Top shelf, right-hand side. The sugar. They're so perfect. They almost look fake. We had a deal. My name is Truly Paul. My father was the late Dr. Emil Paul. He was the one who first discovered the coins in Egypt and brought them back to North America eight years ago. And you're going to steal them so they don't go back to Egypt. Is that it? No. The coins on display are not the coins my father discovered. And these are? Just before they went on display in New York, my father had a stroke. Well, that's when his partner pulled the switch. And I realized that three of the coins on display were exactly the same size. Impossible for handmade coins. So I tracked Dad's old partner to Switzerland and persuaded him to give me back the real coins. You persuaded him? Carl, who you met with your car, is a very persuasive man. So why don't you just go to the museum, tell him your story, show him the coins? See this? It's my father and I when I was 14. For years, Daddy couldn't even get tenure anywhere. After he discovered the coins, he was a hero. We met kings and presidents. If this gets out, it doesn't matter what the truth is. My mother, his reputation is all she has. And it's all I have. Don't, uh, go anywhere. Frank. Oh, slow down. She did what? I don't think anything's gone, no. You better get over here. Joe. Joe. That'll sure teach her to break into the house. I can't believe you're doing this. This is so embarrassing. Are you saying those are the real coins of Luxor? That's correct. Joe, I can see how you arrived at this conclusion. Please, give me some credit. Look, Joe told me how close you guys are to your father. This is all I have left of mine. Frank Hardy. Kate, hi. I'm uh, in a sandwich shop. Uh, can I get you something? OK, see you shortly. What? Where can I get a chopped egg salad with black olives and alfalfa sprouts on seven grain at this time of night? Look, uh, I'll be back in about three hours. Do you think you can find some way to stay out of trouble till then? Trouble? What kind of trouble could I get into? how peeved Frank is going to be. Okay. Recording. 
I'll need two minutes. You got it. set of numbers. Now. Got it. Okay, Andrew. You have 15 seconds of tape left. 10 seconds, truly. Truly, get out of there. Five. Four. Three. Two. Let's go. Grab the gear. Here. You know, this stuff is incredible. I can't believe we... Truly? Truly, come in. Truly... Oh, no. No, no. All right. That's it. This is definitely it. This is the last time. I mean it. I'm gonna become a monk or a Jesuit or something. What is the point? What is the point? I mean, a gift. Razor sharp, analytical reasoning. When all it takes is one woman to come along and knock the whole thing wobbling out of orbit. You were right. No, no, don't start. Can't you just leave it at that? You were right. Joe, I know. Truly. Hi. The only article we had on Truly Paul was no bit. The real Truly Paul drowned when she was 17. So, when all is said and done, I, I was just a last minute stand in for Carl. I'm a loser. A stooge. A stooge, yes, thank you. Uh, chump. All right. Listen. Cops are gonna be coming for me any minute. Take care of my bike for me. You're off the hook. I talked to the cops. She said she did it alone. She said that. She said that. She said, she said that. The paper. Hey, Hardy, you're up early. Yeah, well, uh, the news never sleeps. You know, I heard about a heist or something up at the museum. I mentioned it just in case you might want to write a story about it. <laughs> By Frank, what a flattering picture. Why, thank you, Joe. And you write with such evocative prose style. You really think so? Yeah, you know, I read it, and it's almost as if I was actually there. She actually said that. She said that. I 